Alright guys, um, today I'm going to be making a very, 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 very simple fruit fly culture. Um, I've seen a lot online um, which have very exact recipes, but this is not going to be that. This is going to be about as basic as you can do it. Um, this is what I do. I've been doing it for, I don't know, forever maybe. Um, and yeah, super, super simple. Seems to work every time. Um, I will list the ingredients that you will need and I'm going to do mine in a food mixer. You don't need to do this. You can use a fork, you can use a whisk, you can use a food processor. I'm going to do it in the whisker, in the old Twizzly machine, just because it saves time. It's easy. This is the whole point of this. This is to be an extremely easy fruit fly culture. Uh, I have a couple which I've already done. Oh, these are the ones that I'm on at the moment. They've just started to take. So what I tend to do is I make the fruit fly culture. Um, then when they've just started to take and you're starting to get lots of little fruit flies, I will make a new one, pour a few of these in, and hopefully by the time these ones have started to die out, the new culture will be in full swing. Um, I do tend to always make a bit too much of this, um, but yeah, let's just uh, let's let's see how it goes, and um, yeah. Right, let me get the old processor here. I say processor, the old Breville mixer. Um, like I say, you definitely don't need this. This is just for my ease. Um, We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Right now. So, firstly, what I've got here is a packet of old mashed potato. You can use smashed potato, you can use powdered potato, you can use regular mashed potato. Um, doesn't matter. Cheaper, obviously, is great for, well, you want to make it cheap. Um, I've got this because it was reduced to Asda, and fine. Uh, I'm going to use all of it. This is going to be loads of fruit fly culture. So, potato makes the base. Uh, next, bananas. Bananas are the best fruit to use, I find. Um, these are old and grim and going black. But that's fine, that's, that's maybe even better for this. Let's get them all, oh, let's peel these up. So you've probably noticed I'm not measuring. Um, I do about the same amount of banana to uh, mashed potato. Right, next thing, sounds a bit odd, but I am going to use a beer. Now, any beer will do. I tend to use the dregs of beers that are left, but currently I don't have that, um, so this will be fine. Don't know. I'm going to put, put half a bottle in at the moment, let's hope for the best. Next, I've got a little bit of orange juice here. Fresh orange juice, not shop-bought stuff, but again, shop-bought stuff will probably do fine. Um, I've got a little bit of cider wine vinegar, or cider vinegar, white wine vinegar will do fine as well. Malt vinegar will do fine. 
just the littlest bit. So you're popping this in here to stop it from rotting. Um, and then if you've got any other old fruits, sometimes I've stuck tomatoes and stuff in here, doesn't really matter. As long as it's all been mushed down, that's fine. And then simply, all I do is I add a tiny bit of cinnamon as well. Let me see if I can find that. Tiniest little bit of cinnamon. That is also another agent that stops it from rotting. You obviously don't want mould in there. And let's just give this one final mix. So that is actually all done now. Um, I will show you exactly how I set it up. Um, I get these pots. These are actually fruit fly tubs from the spider shop. Let's just take this off. Uh, how do I do this? Put these in the sink. Put that to the side. What I do is I get these little tubs first. I fill them with this fruit slop. It's that sort of texture. It's a bit like a really thin, filthy porridge. There's a few little lumps in it, doesn't matter. Just do a few of these. Like I say, I've done far too much. Oh, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, it tastes awful. It's grim. Absolutely grim. Oh, God. What was I thinking? Oh. Gross. These are the fruit fly tubs, I got these from the spider shop. Where are they? There you are. I um, can't remember exactly how much they were, but they weren't a lot. Um, so I'm going to pop these straight in. Far too many fruit flies I'm going to have here. Yeah, and now I've got this stuff. Uh, what was this? How much of this stuff is called? I just got it off eBay. I think I got. I think I got it as um, the sort of base of hampers and baskets, how I found it, and it was very cheap, it was about 50p a bag, there's loads of it in here, oh god, there you are, well, this, this will probably do most of them, stretch it out. So my camera cut out, I'm hoping I've still got you. Um, so I got this stuff. You can use sliced up paper, you can use anything really, you can use kitchen roll. Um, anything you want, just basically something so that the fruit flies can move around. You can even use tiny little twigs, wouldn't matter. So you get your old fruit flies, which we've got a few left in hopefully. Little tap. Sort of. 10, 15 fruit flies in there, all to do it. More if you want to get it going faster. Bloody loads in here, let's get go fruit fly crazy. Go yeah, fine. So that's your new one. Uh, got a few fruit flies in there. 
probably got about 15, 20 in there. Uh, now I'm just going to leave that somewhere warm. And in about two weeks, or a week and a half, two weeks, that will be good to go. That will be plenty more fruit flies. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was, like, subscribe, share, all that jargon. And I wish you the best. Toodaloo.